Uh, it's, it's interesting to me. I've been asked over the course of the last month since I've been in Denver about the bootleg and those type of things. You know, I had Joe in Baltimore last year, and I think we booted maybe 25 times in the season. So, you know, you do what your players do best. We're going to run the Denver Bronco offense, and, and that's a big challenge for me right now, meshing things together and, and getting ready to, you know, to go do the things that Peyton does so well and, and has for many, many years. Can't really talk with – the prospects until right now, so we'll start that process. I'm looking forward to getting to know and spend time with not only Jameis, but Marcus also and the rest of the athletes this week. You know, I've, I've played against Richie Acognito, and, and I know he's, uh, he's an outstanding player. Uh, if he wasn't an outstanding player, would I have had the conversation with him? No. I mean, the truth of the matter is no. But knowing that kind of, you know, what kind of player he is, we wanted to find out um, for ourselves uh, where he's at uh, and, and have a conversation with him. Uh, obviously, we felt good about um, him moving forward and, and uh, doing things, um, uh, you know, conducting himself in a way where he's a good teammate, and, and I expect him to be that. Robert will, you know, we'll go into the season with Robert as a number one guy, obviously, and, you know, and then it's up to Robert to continue to grow and mature as a quarterback. and. As a person, and then uh, moving forward, just want to see some improvement. It's up to us as a staff to get more out of them.